Hi, this is BJ Matavish and welcome back to a long overdue new video on the channel. Uh, this one is going to be, obviously, as you see from the thumbnail and title, uh, predictions video for 2017. Now, there's been a few uh, comments looking for, you see here. So, I said I'd thrown up. Now, like every year, a bit of disclaimer, DCG cannot be predicted. It's it's unpredictable. There's no set pattern, etc. So on, especially section B and well, obviously section B and section A. Uh, you know yourself, anything can come up in it. Anything from the uh, core subjects. All right. So so it's not really much prediction. It's more my opinion of what might come up. All right. Such and some topics I've seen in a year or two, or they weren't up last year, or the year before, so it might pop up again, etc. All right. So. Take this with a massive pinch of salt, and obviously as a teacher myself, you know, study everything. Okay, make sure you have your all your bases covered, and don't rely on this. So, starting off with section A. Now, the main topics I'm thinking that might come up is solids and contact, perspective, axonometric, and then intersection of solids. So, they're the kind of four I'm kind of looking at. Uh, skew lines came up a couple of years in a row and then it didn't come up last year so I'm thinking there's a possibility skew lines come up seeing as there was a paper question there for a while and then it didn't come up last year so there's a possibility of seeing that as well um, more end up the other one solids and contact again hasn't come up in a while or perspective as a short question and uh, also intersections and I'm kind of looking at intersections for part B as well so it's could be a possibility will come up in uh, section A and section B. Uh, also then, uh, axonometric, because again, it hasn't come up as a short question in a while. Having said that, again, like conic sections come up for a while in section A, that's why I haven't said mention in here. But it's a couple of years ago, or was it two years ago, I did a, a prediction video and said, definitely no way axonometric come up three years in a row in section B, and it did. So that's what I'm saying, like, it's not predictable. These are just kind of, few little tips but there's no guarantee that these are the what's going to come up also again they really like their autographic projection in section a uh, and also adding in the true lengths so giving you a diagonal and telling you to find a true length of it and so on so make sure that that's something that you can uh, that you're comfortable with doing now section b so section b the three topics i'm looking at here is intersection of solids perspective and then conic sections now, I know conic sections came up last year, but I'm kind of looking at conic sections uh, questions such as like the 2011 uh, B3 question where you have your focus here and so on. So I'm kind of liking a question like that to come up, but also perspective and especially intersection has come up more. Perspective came up two years ago, so it's kind of seems to be every second year for the past couple of papers, uh, perspective has come up. And then intersection and solids hasn't come up in a while. So they're the kind of three that I'd be looking at. Intersection, perspective, and then a conic sections question such as 2011 B3. So they're kind of the three that I'd be looking at. And again, Axiometric came up three years in a row. has been there. Uh, it wasn't there last year. But like, there's no reason that won't come up again. So as I said at the start, again, you make sure you have all your bases covered. You have all your topics covered. But this is just uh, a little hint as to what might, or tips as to what might come up. Uh, what I think might come up again, DCG is very unpredictable, no pattern, so there's no guarantee any of these let you come up. Lastly then, Section C. Now, Section C, section C there's nothing to say here really because you know yourself the five options and you've picked your favourite two or so on. Um, and what I tend to do in my leaving certs is C4 and C5, which is dynamic mechanisms and um, assemblies and a small bit of surface geometry which is question c3 because it's just like uh, coordinate geometry and if you have that uh coordinate geometry um learnt off then or you understand it well then uh, that gives you a question section b and section c so i really look into doing your coordinate geometry again that could come up in section b as well but uh for section c uh it's obviously very predictable because it's the same ones every year so you should be very comfortable with section c but what i would say is section c 
for question C4, which is your dynamic mechanisms, there might be uh, a helix question on it. So the goal two one is like a linkage in a cam, but uh, a helix hasn't come up in it since 2012. So that's a long time for the helix up and the um, spirals made an appearance last year. So for dynamic mechanism C4, I'd be looking at a helix to come up in that uh, in the paper. Now, as always, that's just kind of, that's just my opinion. No guarantee any of that will come up. Don't bank on what I'm saying here because you can't predict it. Uh, it's just, there are just a few little tips. So as always, I hope this helped. Uh, there will be uh, more videos going up now in the next week or two. I'll try to get a few more recorded. And as always, leave a like if this helped and best luck with your exam. Okay.